Hey guys, welcome back to another redstone video. Today we got a totally useful machine. So we got the following scenario. You want to build a pointed dripstone farm. So I replaced on all the dripstone blocks, the water source on top, and some blocks on the side to prevent any water spilling. So the only thing that's left to do is to place down the pointed dripstone. And now you have two options. First option, which is totally the boring one, is to just place down all the dripstone yourself, which should take about one minute for 100 blocks. But why spend one minute doing something manually if you can spend five minutes building a flying machine and then 400 hours of AFKing it? Okay, of course this machine isn't useful, but here's how it works. We can actually also use a machine to place down the dripstone. It's a bit complicated. So the way it works, we get a water source here on top of the dripstone block and the pointed dripstone at the bottom. Now there's a really small chance that the pointed dripstone would grow random tick based. It would take about two hours to grow one stage, but if it grew twice, it will actually place another pointed dripstone on the next block and the machine moves one forward. So what's gonna happen is if we get a three tall pointed dripstone, then this observer would activate and this part of the machine is pushed forward. So basically we cut off the third point of dripstone block and it would start to fall down. What happens next is we push the point of dripstone that is falling down one block forward and then this sticky piston here, the slime block on top, shoots the point of dripstone upwards. This part of the machinery already moved out of the way. And then once the pointed dripstone falling block is right at the top, we push this concrete block back into the position. Then a pointed dripstone attaches at the block at the top, and then we move it back. Okay, let's just see it. it happens a bit quickly, but there we go. <laughs> so the whole contraption moved one block forward and we got two pointed dripstone now. Just gonna place it again. There we go. And you just need to AFK this for a very long time and it will place all the pointed dripstone for you. I can also speed this up a little bit. We could increase the random tick speed by a factor of 1000. So this happens now 1000 times quicker than usual. Still gonna take a while until you actually you know, see it growing fully. Should be a matter of seconds now instead of hours. It still takes some time. I'd like to actually run this even faster, but you know, the game is already lagging. Just increase the random tick speed. Come on, one more stage. That's really unfortunate. So hoping it work. Come on. And there we go. All right, so to cover the whole distance, you only need to wait about 400 hours which is definitely not feasible at all. But I think it's kind of cool that we can build a machine like this one here. But this would also work if you have, yeah, not only a single line of dripstone, you could also have multiple. So you run the first machine and then you build the same machine one block over and so on. There's probably even a way to build a three directional machine. So we could cover, yeah, a whole area instead of just a line of blocks, but then you would look at 10,000s of hours <laughs> until the machine finally finishes. It's definitely a little bit silly. And we moved forward again. So sometimes it happens that stalagmites would form on the flying machine, but it's not really a problem. Also, we got those slabs here at the bottom that prevents that stalagmites would grow higher and yeah, basically take up all the space to the top. Um, so we always obviously want three high stalactites at the top in order to move one forward. In the unlikely case, you actually want to use this machine, you can find it in the description. That's it for today. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.